Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and welcome on back to another reaction video. If you have no idea who I am, my name is Sam, aka OGB Reacts. I'm a first time movie reactor here on YouTube, posting every Tuesday and Friday, and I also stream occasionally. Today's video is a level 5 Patreon tier movie request from Ian Forbes, and Ian wants me to watch The Lookout from 2007. As per usual, with all of the films I watch on this channel, I have absolutely no idea what's going to happen. And I've actually never even heard of this one. But as per usual, I am excited to watch. So I guess with that, let's go on ahead and get started. If you're here watching this right now, I really do appreciate you and thank you for watching. And of course, thank you so much to Ian Forbes for subscribing at that tier over on Patreon. Really do appreciate you as well. And to those of you over on Patreon, I also do appreciate you guys over there. Thank you so much for being there. Thank you so much for your support. And I hope you're enjoying all the full and edited reaction videos and the access to the polls. If you want to watch the full unedited version of this video or to anything else on my channel, you can absolutely do so over on my Patreon. It is $5 a month for that. So yeah, this is definitely one of those films where I literally have no idea what to expect. I have no idea what it's about. I've never even heard of it. But I really do hope that you guys like this reaction and I shall see you on the other side. Enjoy. Pay attention to the road! <laughs> Y'all can kiss later. Oh. That's fun. Dangerous, but fun. Yeah. Was that foreshadowing? I swear to God. Four years. I wake up. Oh, dude, come on. Oh, wow, he is scarred up. Oh, and then I shave. Oh, they're probably all dead. Sometimes I cry for no reason, but I don't read the paper. It confuses me, which makes me mad. Hmm. Oh, yeah, he probably got some brain damage from that. Independent Life Skills Center. Wow. Oh. Oh no, that sucks. Pretty, pretty smart. At least he has a backup. That's good. Oh, well, she lived. <laughs> what about the other two? Maybe we should talk about the women in your life. You mean besides you? Yeah. <laughs> Don't you think you should do something about that? I think about fucking you all the time. Oh. Oh, okay. I don't think they quite heard that over by the door. <laughs> I didn't oh mean, no! I, think, I, meant, I know what you meant. So you're gonna bring up the frontal lobe, whatever bullshit. Yeah, that's okay. That sucks, but don't do foolish shit, y'all. Okay, oh. Kathy with a K. That's a beautiful name, Kathy. Oh, okay. So he is blind. I don't smell dinner. Well, I'm sorry, Liz. Wow. Let's talk about your afternoon. We had to write again. Oh yeah. Well, let me guess. Topic A. Why am I all fucked up? <laughs> or topic B. Living with being all fucked up. <laughs> you sequence just fine. You just gotta start at the end, work backwards. Write that down. Fair. That will probably help at least. I don't know. I'm wondering if he if he did like if he killed someone or anybody in the car. Or clearly, that the girl that was, I guess, his girlfriend at the time, did not die. But I don't know about those other two. The harvest trucks go out in a week or so. That means we're going to be very busy the next few weeks. I'd like to apply to the executive training program in Wichita, but before I can, I have to have worked 100 hours as a teller here at the branch. That's very good, Chris. Mrs. Lang also says the women's bathroom fixture needs a new bulb. I get it, but you know, come on, get him, give him a chance, come on! Nanny, Steve. Oh. Steve. Huh, was, was that the other guy in the car? Or, I, I'm not sure, honestly. That's pathetic. What? 
Huh? That's Chris Pratt. What? Also, his name is Chris Pratt? That's actually kind of funny, actually. <laughs> is there a hitman after him? What, what did he do? Oh, I, hmm. If he did kill those other two people, maybe it's like, I don't know, family trying to get back at him or something. I don't know, but like, really a hitman? Can you break your 50, like tens and fives? Mm, that's the guy from the car. What was it? Motorcycle accident? It was a car accident. <sighs> they say Boy. I got thrown 90 feet. Oh yeah, I'm sorry, they say? Well, no, I can't remember any of it. <laughs> well, thank God for that. <laughs> 90 well, remember, feet. Uh, anybody die? Yeah, two friends. Yeah. yeah. Man, she really wears that sweater, doesn't she? Fuck. Uh, I don't Dude, like him. Sorry. He's giving me creepy vibes. Yeah. Uh. Mm -mm. This is gonna be bad real quick. Two people though, two people died and he got launched to hell. That's crazy, 90 feet. That's, I, wow. I smell money. <laughs> what do you call a mushroom goes into the bar, buys everybody a drink? A fun guy. Ha! <laughs> do you have any other old family recipes? We can use them for the restaurant. Restaurant? He didn't tell us. What exactly would you do at a restaurant, Chris? Uh, I'd, I'd help Lewis. We found a space. Where, hmm. what, if that's his dad, what's wrong with him? Oh, what would you do? You look good. It's great to see you. At least you're nice, damn. Boy, you got me on the run here. There's a comforting sound. It's a nice gun. It's mm. your move. Check. Uh, will he use it at some point? Oh, God. <laughs> Hey, come on, we got time for another quick one. Uh, I think we should go. Lewis, you go? would you rather I let you win? What is wrong with him? Dad, I can't play chess anymore. Seriously. I'm sorry, but it's like, what the hell is... What? Watch what you damn say. Good Lord. Hello? Oh. Could have not even born yet. I'm already awake on that. <laughs> All I gotta say is you're lucky. You don't ever have to worry about that stuff. Are, are, people are just like not conscientious about like what they're saying to people. I thought Ooh. I was good looking. Oh, unfortunate swing and a miss. Oh well. Lovely. L U V L E E. Oh. Lovely. What? Now you remember me. No way is that her name. Oh, well, that's why they want to be alone. Okay. I saw you play the night you beat the Raytown Cougars for the state championship. Yeah, it was a good game. Yeah, it was. I don't have a good feeling about any of this going on right now. Like, at all. I... Mm -mm. Don't mind me. Okay. Oh, that's good. Okay. Put some pants on! Are you okay? I want to see you naked. Okay. Yep. I'm sorry. No. Yep. Don't he says what he thinks sometimes out loud. <laughs> Just like before. Good luck, Chris. Oh, I, I, I have such a bad feeling about this because of that guy specifically. Thing still works. Oh, okay, damn. You're better than this. A lot better. What is your motivation? What are you doing? What are you planning? You are a creepy man and you are mischievous and I do not like you. Or mischievous. I don't. Is that both are correct? Question mark. Don't mind me. I can't speak. Were you with a lady tonight? <laughs> Son of a bitch! You got laid. Oh I don't my really god. Want to talk about that. Oh, but you are my friend. You are. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> He's funny. You know, here I am sitting at home alone every night while you're out getting blown and God knows what else by lovely something who probably <laughs> has a friend and what you don't introduce me. Lemons, that's oh what it is. Oh my goodness. That's what, what it is. Gary introduced me to her. Who's Gary? Gary who? Gary Spargo. Gary Spargo. I don't think he, uh, I don't think he feels for the guy either. Oh, okay. You better be nice to him throughout this entire movie, but you know what? I got a really big feeling that you're not gonna be. <laughs> How many of these things you think you're gonna need? Yeah, I'm just gonna take all of them. Thanks. Cool. Uh. 
which that's uh, heavy. Hey, what's in the bag? Oh, that sounded like a. Is this your farm? Metal? Uh, you know what? My, uh, my uncle Bone found it, kind of uh, negotiated with the owner. Who the fuck was that man? I'm sorry, that was aggressive. All right, welcome. Who are all these people? Whose place is this again? Friend of a friend. Bone. What the hell is happening? What is going on? This is some random man's house, most likely. It's that man. Yes, this is a project I've been working on for very many months. It's all banks? Mm-hmm. That's right, Chris. They're all banks. Uh... <laughs> I'm taking pictures of a bunch of banks. Because I'm going to rob one of them. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to rob one of them. They're gonna fill that vault with cash so that Farmer John can pay Juan and Ramon to pick his crops. Oh, wasn't the his bank boss talking about something what? like that? Empty. Oh my God, it's gonna, it's gonna be his with bank. No security to speak of. In this quiet, empty place, no one really knows exists. Oh, they're gonna try to and use him. Oh no. You drive an hour and a half each way to work there. Oh. What is this? You want me to rob the bank? Can't do that. Why not, huh? Well, because it's wrong. Wow. Don't, don't you want your old life back? Wow, you wow, wow. You can't give that to me. You know what? No, I can't. You know, whoever has the money has the power. You might want to jot that down in your book. You know, I went to prison for my sins, Chris, so I don't have to carry them around with me, but you? What'd you go to jail for? Whoever has the money has the power. Huh. This is very mixed a bit. I'm still wondering who that like bodyguard looking man is. He's terrifying. <laughs> it's not even terrifying. He's just creepy. It's just like, what? What? Uh, yeah, no, I don't like. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Nope. See, I don't trust him. This is just another reason why. I don't know that I'm pussy whip per se, but she got me in a goddamn pager. In case she breaks water or whatever while I'm on my shift. I skipped breakfast so that I could follow an armored car. Yep. Oh boy. I don't. I just. This will not end well. And then I took pictures of the vault. What you taking pictures of? I just wanted to uh, show my parents where I work. That's all. I'm sure your parents would like to see you in the picture. Okay, good. Oh, say, go, Mustangs! Oh my god. Well, it looks like an antique Hogan Langhammer Deluxe uh, 1922 Most Hamilton. Dual custody with a three movement SNG time lock. Another SNG mounted vertically down. Jeez. I say we just cut through the side. Wow. He knows his uh, safes. On the night, your job will be to watch out for Deputy Donut. He drives by once or twice, never at the same time, so there's no way to plan for him. That's it? Deputy Donut. That's, That's the most important job of all. Yeah, of course. Who is that man in the back? Oh my God. Sorry. I just, I, I like, I just keep, he just keeps appearing in the darkness. And I don't like it. <laughs> uh. Oh. Lovely, I presume. Please tell me you're not waving your hand. Or some buddies and me wanted to make money, so we started a meth lab. You blew yourself up? Oh. I look like I blew myself up? <laughs> no, I didn't blow myself <laughs> up. So, unfortunately, it wasn't yet known that if you work in an unventilated room, the fumes can, and in fact do, blind you. Something that probably could have been avoided if I had just stopped and bothered to ask a simple question. Yeah. Wow. What am I doing here? That too? That is his... No, the lovely lemons of this world do not end up with Chris Pratt. Thank you. Asshole. Sad, yeah. true. What are you doing here? I'm assuming that was all for good intentions, purposes, but damn, ruthless. I go tomorrow. Oh, this is not gonna end well. I just know it. I just know it. If I need a donut, I can get my own. Oh. I sure shit don't need you feeling sorry for me. Yeah. I know. Oh. Oh. Poor guy. 
I know that he was just trying to get him away. I think he was trying to do it for good reasons. Be like, don't come tomorrow. God only knows. Yep, that's a big gun. Uh, that's what I thought was in the bag. Okay, what can I get you guys? Well, for starters, I'll take the name of your perfume. It's obsession. Consider me obsessed. Look at the tech. Oh my goodness. You think that waitress is thinking, well, oh, I want to bone that blind guy. It looks like Larry Flint. Larry Flint? Oh, Jesus. Moving out. Damn. Yeah, he is. He's going through his own shit. Perhaps I've been a little unfair. After the holidays, we'll see about getting you some regular time behind the window. Wow. After all, Mrs. Lang isn't going to be around forever. Well, he came around. Of course, tonight he came around when things are going to go to shit. Louis, it's me. I really, really missed her. Whatever mess you made, we'll probably end up. No, that's not oh, I'm, I'm not at home. I'm at the bank. Oh, God. We got Creepy Man. Yep, it's all, it's collapsing. That's it. You guys do whatever you want. I won't say anything, but I'm just not going to do it. I'll just send you a check. Oh, yep, 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 yep. You need your heart. Of course, yeah. Too late to back out now. You honestly don't have a choice. That inhaler is going to come into play. I just know it. I just know it. What is his role? What is the creepy man's role? Uh... Great. Talk to him like normal. Of course. I'm sorry about the other night. What I said. Oh, forget it. I know you can't help it. I'll see you later. Yeah, I hope they don't hurt that cop because. Please don't. Wow. Oh, this is not gonna go smoothly. It's just not. It's not. Oh man, completely. Wow. Uh, um, he, oh, I don't like this. He's going to come back with donuts. Oh, he's going to get blasted to hell. Oh, holy shit. Put your fucking gloves back on. Go and get it. Are you out of your mind? Well, I hope they turn the cameras off. If anything, they're really making him do the grunt work. Wow, that's rude. So much money. Car. Of course. Of course. Cop. Holy shit. Oh no. <gasps> Oh no. Oh my god. This is not good. Oh god. Run, 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 run. Run. Holy shit. No. Oh. Oh, and it all Yep, all going to shit. Oh my god. Holy shit. This guy's a great shot. Good. Get him, get him, get him. Yeah, get him, get him. Shut up. Put your hands oh, no, don't distract him. Don't, 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 don't. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Woo! Fucking bucket! Go, 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 go! Holy. No, the key! Son of a bitch! Go, 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 go! Turn on your lights! Turn on your headlights! No. Of course, of course, the police, of course. The headlights, dude, the headlights. Take easy. <laughs> They're gonna kill me. Where's Pratt? Yes, sir. Go on home. Wow. You handed him the card, yep. Wow. Oh my goodness. What the hell are you gonna do with this? 
What are you going to do with this? <sighs> Honestly, yeah, probably the best thing to do is maybe go to the police. Yeah, but go uh, to Lewis. <laughs> maybe. Uh, they know where he lives. They do know where he lives. So this is not good. Are you okay? I'm fine. Why wouldn't I be? Well, I throw. they're up there, aren't they? Just get out of here. Come on up here, Chris, and let's talk about how we can figure this out. Of course. Here, yep. Shoot me. Let's shovel in some bags in this car. You're just gonna, you're gonna kill me and bury me somewhere. Are you gonna blame the whole thing? Yeah, that really was what they were gonna do. Oh my God, this dude. What are you gonna do? He went to his parents' house. Oh Jesus. Whoever has the money has the power. You do have the power. That is absolutely right. Wow. The gun! See, things like that where, like, characters interact with something and they make a point that they're interacting with it. Like, I always think, like, that's going to come into play. That is. The gun. We haven't seen the inhaler yet. But I feel like that some somehow is gonna come back into play as well. Or not at all. To not forget where the gun is. Good thinking. Where you been, Christopher? Hiding the money. What? I'll meet you at six o'clock in the mayor's Christmas tree. I have the power. What? Yes, he does. I have the money. Yes. I have the power, yes, right? Yes, he does. I have the power. Yeah! Chris, just listen to me. No, no, you listen to me. Six o'clock! And Lewis better not have a mark on him! Yeah! Good for you, Chris! Let's go! Sir, you gotta stay up. Come on. I think he's seeing her. I don't think she exists. I think she died in the in the car crash as well. Oh, wow. It's part of me now. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. Don't do this, Chris. Just tell me where This I guy is going to die. Where it is. Bullshit. He don't remember. He doesn't remember. Mm, man. Oh, shit. Here we go. <laughs> he buried it. He just buried it. Oh, well, man. Well, he's going to dig it up. Come on. So he did actually bury it. I thought he just hit it, but that sucks. He has a gun in one of those bags though, so he's gonna he is gonna kill Bone. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yep. Yep. Come on, you gotta do something. Oh no, 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 no. Come on, quickly! Oh! Whoa! Am I dead? I must be. No one's talking to me. Oh. Not dead. Oh, Jesus. Holy shit. That was so cool. He did it like through the bag. What? Yep, inhaler. Uh. I returned the money and confessed my part. But in the end, the FBI decided that someone like me could never pull off something like that. Okay. I guess it didn't hurt that Marty cut the phone line instead of the video feed so that the whole thing was caught on the bank camera. Wow. What happened that night on old Route 24 is a part of me now. Mm-hmm. I just hope that one day Kelly will be ready to see me again. And I can finally tell her what I've only been able to say in my dream. Okay, so she is alive and, and real. Then, okay. All I can do is wake up and try to forgive myself. And maybe others will forgive me too. I don't know if that will happen. I guess I'll just have to work backwards from there. <laughs> wow. Wow, wow, wow. That was wow. Oh my goodness. That was actually really good. I really enjoyed that overall. That uh Oh my god. Yeah. No, that was it got it got super crazy for the last like what? Like 30, probably 30 or so minutes. It was just like intense and wow. No, I really enjoyed that actually. I I really did. I really feel like Overall, this was just really well done.
every little thing that happened, every sort of thing that the characters did, it all kind of played back into it. It all kind of played a part in some sort of way. And I always like it when movies do that. Again, with the like the gun, like you had Chris handling the gun in the house just uh, earlier in the movie, and then the whole inhaler thing, and and the notepad. It's just like things like that. I actually really enjoy seeing recurring things uh, continuously come back in, in different ways. But again, the story was really, I feel the story was, was really good. It was, it was straightforward. I mean, like there wasn't any sort of like convolutedness. There were moving parts throughout, but it was just a very straightforward and just a very well done story. This was a very well done movie. And it was really interesting. It was a interesting concept, interesting idea, uh, really crazy again, like just like that last like 25, 30 minutes was just intensity, intensity, intensity. And before that, it was just all this buildup, but it wasn't like boring. It wasn't, it was really still uh, entertaining and interesting to watch it all kind of just play out because we learned more about the characters, specifically Chris, as we went along, especially with, you know, what he went through and everything, just that whole accident and uh, all that. So it was a build up, but it, and sometimes build ups can be a little like, eh, it can be a little boring, a lot of explanation here and there, but this really wasn't. It was, again, just straightforward and it was entertaining to watch throughout. And I freaking knew that that freaking cop was going to die. I, and it didn't register until like five minutes after that his beeper went off right as he was about to get freaking killed, right? It was the beeper that he had said uh, his wife was gonna, you know, beep him whenever she was going into labor. It's just like, oh my god, of course. He wasn't, he wasn't a bad guy. He was just a very ugh, wrong place, wrong time. He shouldn't have gone back. So that's just another thing that Chris is going to feel continuously guilty about, so. So yeah, again, really, really enjoyed myself watching this. I had never even heard of the movie before, but this was definitely, in to me, kind of a hidden gem because it really was like a really well done movie overall. And with that, I really do hope that you guys also enjoyed this reaction. And if you did enjoy the reaction, please feel free to like the video. And if you aren't already, please feel free to subscribe. And if you want to watch the full unedited version of this video or to anything else on my channel, you can absolutely do so over on my Patreon. It is $5 a month for that. And to those of you who are already on Patreon, I really do appreciate you guys over there. Thank you so much for being there. Thank you so much for your support and I hope you're enjoying all the full unedited reaction videos and the access to the polls. If you want to find me outside of YouTube you can absolutely do so. You can find me pretty much anywhere at OGB Plays. Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, all that good stuff but I also stream over on Twitch whenever I can. Once again great movie, had no idea what to expect but was very pleased with the overall result. And of course thank you so much again to Ian Forbes for requesting this film using that tier over on Patreon. I really do appreciate you and I I hope you specifically enjoyed this as well. Once again, I hope you all liked this reaction and I hope to see you all in the next reaction video, whatever that may be. Okie dokie. Bye.